So hello again, this is Romy, uh, your host uh, in another exciting tutorial with Unity and Playmaker 3D. So basically, in this episode, I'm going to show you, uh, this is more an additional episode, and I'm going to show you how to create a, a mobile movement with, with a touch screen system. So uh, because these questions has been asked a lot of times, so I decided to create a quick uh, video regarding this. And I'm sorry if the resolution is a bit uh, small because I'm on my laptop at the moment, not on my PC. So I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. So uh, if you have any questions, just leave it at the comments and I'll try to answer it as uh, soon as possible. So first, we need to access our Sci-Fi Fighter AK-5, and we are going to disable this FSM. So we can go back uh, to the inspector and search for the Playmaker FSM with the name of AK-5 movement and disable this one. And let's create a new FSM. So I'm going to rename this one to AK-5 a touch movement. Okay, so basically we are going to need to use two different states for this one so first one is for uh, check for touches so we are going to check if there are any touch on the screen so okay sorry for touches and then second step if touched and create two different events touch and released at the touched event to the first st uh, states so touch connect this to if touch and under the second stage the if touch states add a transition released and connect this to the check for touches okay under check for touches we're going to use a touch event so get touch uh, sorry touch event and leave the finger ID to zero. So this is the first finger ID if there are multiple touches on the screen. And set the touch face to begin and send the event to touch. And then we are going to copy this. We are going to copy this uh, action and put it, uh, put it on the second, touch, uh, second state if touch. And we are going to send this to release and set the touch face to end it. And we are going to copy another action and set this to cancel so we are going to detect both ended and that mean release or cancelled if our finger finger are leaving the screen okay so now we are going to get the touch info get touch info is for collecting uh, values from our uh, touch info so I'm going to store the position to a new variable call this touch pass so this is basically a factor tree uh, variable data and we just check the normalize and leave the finger ID to none make sure every frame is check, checked and we are going to use a screen to world point action and basically this action is for uh, converting the screen position here from the touch info and uh, change it to a world point so we can put the screen vector touch point here and for the screen Z I'm going to set this to 45 because our camera is 45 above our shape 45 units so here I'm going to set this screen Z to 45 and set this to normalize because we set the touch info to normalize so we need to make the method equal and then we are going to store the world vector and we can just override our touch pass because they are this uh, this actions are, uh, are get, getting executed every frame so it doesn't matter if we override this and then we need to get the position of our ship first so we can learn the value so i'm going to store the vector to a new variable called current post and Make sure every frame is checked and use a factor tree lerp. Yep, this one. And from factor to current boss to vector touch boss and set the amount to a small value, maybe 0 
and we are going to update our current post so we are going to override the current post here and make sure every RAM is checked and make sure the vector tree lerp is below the get position action and then we are going to set position of our ship so we are going to update the position of our ship okay so just use the current pause and make sure the space is world and make sure every frame is checked so i think should this should be working in order to test this you will have to connect your android device to the pc with the usb cable and then uh, set the project settings under project settings and editor and set the device to any android device but you must to, uh, you must uh, connect this uh, android device before you starting up your unity so just connect if you haven't connect close your unity uh, save your scene close your unity and connect your android device and then reopen your project so let's uh, do this let's try I, I have already connected my android device and here as you can see i'm moving this with my finger on my devices and it's work it's working perfectly okay but there is a problem we are shooting every time we are, uh, every time we are tapping the screen so we need to make the bullet automatically so go to ak5 fire and disable the get button down and we are going to use a next frame event and under next frame event send fire okay and i'm going to uh, increase the wait time so it doesn't fires too often and save the scene and let's try this there as you can see our ship is firing and we can shoot the enemies so hopefully this is quite clear and hopefully this uh, will enlighten you guys that are wondering how to create a mobile uh, mobile movement or with, with, with touch uh, devices uh, for uh, converting the movement from our keyboard to a touch screen I hope you like this and I hope you find this useful if you like this uh, tutorial please subscribe and stay tuned for another much more tutorials and I really appreciate any donation I will put the donation link below and donation will help me to create to create a uh, more better quality uh, better quality content at a uh, more often thanks for watching bye